everybody, and welcome to the Dynamic Pepper. Well, it's my favorite time of month again. Time for survival boxes. This is the gear only box for October 2018. Can you believe it's already October? Uh, if you are unfamiliar with survival boxes, you can check them out over at survivalboxes.com. And what they are is a monthly subscription box service that delivers to your door each and every month a box full of awesome survival gear for your uh, outdoor adventures, natural disasters, and man made disasters. Uh, they have a couple of different box levels out there, including the Alpha, the Bravo, the gear only, the gear only XL and the water box. Uh, this particular one is the gear only XL, which as the name implies is just going to be survival gear. Uh, the price on this guy is $89.99 per month plus shipping. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm excited. Very excited. Okay. A little different box than we normally get. This one's long and narrow. So that means there's probably something a little out of the ordinary here. Oh, we'll keep it like that, since that's right side up. Okay, here we go. So, without ruining any product, I don't want to spoil anything. Let's go ahead and snake our Survival Boxes card out, right there. Uh, so, uh, this Survival Boxes card, this comes in each uh, level of Survival Boxes, the Alpha, Bravo, Gear Only, Gear Only, XL, and the Water Box. Gives you everything that is in the box, along with uh, associated price. Remember, that is lowest online price. And then also the uh, value of the box. So right now we're going to be looking at this right here. That's the Survival Boxes Gear Only XL. Price of that is $89.99 plus shipping. The value here is $157.97. Our theme for this month is Self-Defense, Fight, and First Aid. Very cool. Uh, for October 2018, that's a nice theme. I like that a lot. That's going to be cool. Okay, first up we have our Survival Knowledge Card. Survival Knowledge Card number 33. Right there, with your first month subscription, uh, you will get your welcome box, and in that box you will get this three ring binder, into which you put your monthly survival knowledge card. Each month, you're going to get a survival knowledge card, you go ahead and place it in your survival box's three ring binder, and uh, then after a while you'll have a nice little resource. Alright, so moving right along, let's get into our first item here. We'll kind of get rid of some of this packaging material that's on top here. Don't need quite all that. Ooh, okay. Uh, first up, we have a general purpose first aid kit. So price on this guy is $12.95, and it looks like we have all the basics for a uh, little first aid kit. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. Give that a pop there. There we go. Got some sterile pads. There, a uh, triangular bandage, some pain relievers, some alcohol prep pads, a bunch of those, some gauze pads, we got band-aids down there, more gauze pads, some gauze rolls, we have some tape, we have some antiseptic towelettes there, uh, some uh, gloves there for protection. A little bit of everything. Nice little start there. Certainly, uh, certainly a very capable little first aid kit there, especially for the price. And then, of course, uh, you can always add to that with anything else you'd like to uh, do. Or as you run through things in here, God forbid, you can always replace them with whatever you like. But nice little box. Stick that. That'd be great to just stick in a, a car or camper or something like that. Just have one of these around the house. It's always good to have a nice little first aid kit around. All right, next up we have the tactical first aid bag. Look at that. So we have a little tactical bag here with a first aid patch on the front. Of course you can load in whatever you want to in there. In fact you could actually take some of the things out of your first aid kit there and put them in here. There you go. Uh, price on this guy is uh, $9.49. could definitely make a nice little first aid kit out of this incorporate it with a uh, get home bag or go bag, something like that, or just have one of these in a small kit. A uh, great little addition to get some first aid kit into a survival kit or something of that nature. So there you go, uh, tactical first aid bag. Alrighty, next up we have from Game Raider, the portable gun cleaning kit for 12 gauge shotgun. That's interesting. So as you know, uh, shotguns are very popular items to have for uh, self-defense, uh, especially for home defense, things like that. So we have a little portable cleaning kit uh, from Gun Raider. 
uh, for your 12 gauge shotguns. Uh, price on this guy is $9.95 for the gun cleaning kit. All right, next up from uh, Gerber, we have a Molly compatible large tactical sheath. Uh, so this is a uh, just a regular sheath uh, that you can put in whatever you want to. My guess is we're going to get some items here that you might want to put into this sheath. <laughs> so I would say that this is probably something that's meant to be married up with some of the items we're going to get into in just a second. So I won't spend too much time on the sheath, but this is just a blank sheath. Uh, generic uh, large sheath uh, to be able to outfit the way that you would like. Again, that's made from Gerber and the price on this guy is $9.95. All right, it is time to get into some of the fun stuff. Uh, first off, let's do this because this is just fun and the reason why the box is the shape it is. Okay, so from uh, Cold Steel, we have the Brooklyn Shorty. Check it out. The unbreakable baseball bat. Uh, so this is, uh, it seems to be made out of a composite material, uh, not exactly wood. Uh, this is the model uh, CS20. It's a small baseball bat uh, right there for you. What's a, what a good little uh, self-defense item right there. Yeah, that is, uh, that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. You know, this actually reminds me of a story. I won't get into the long version of it. Just really, really short here. But when I was, uh, oh, this is many years ago, um, back when I was in college. So this is, shoot, 20 plus years ago. Um, I was home for the uh, summer uh, after my freshman year of college and I got a job with a delivery company and uh, long story short I was this delivery uh, route that I had to do uh, for uh, two weeks to cover for a guy that was on vacation was in a really bad area of town and this was back when we lived uh, near Milwaukee so this was a, a route that was in uh, like like downtown Milwaukee like real urban area of Milwaukee and uh, was not the best areas of town. I remember that morning I jumped into the delivery truck and there was a baseball bat sitting on the dashboard. <laughs> and uh, much like this one, and I remember thinking to myself, this is going to be a serious delivery route right here. Uh, didn't have to use it though, but uh, it certainly is an effective weapon uh, to, uh, for self-protection if you need it, and it's certainly an option. So there you go. That is the Cold Steel Brooklyn Shorty. Uh, price on this guy is $22.99. Okay, next up from uh, another item from Cold Steel, we have the Koga SD-1. Let's check this guy out. So this obviously is a striking weapon. Probably something that could go in that sheath we just saw. This is pretty cool. I don't have any direct uh, experience with this particular weapon, to be honest with you. Um, but I do have a ton of experience with uh, a weapon called the Dongbong. And uh, that is a traditional uh, martial arts weapon. All it is is a short stick, almost exactly this length, um, with rounded ends on it. And we actually use it for striking and um, joint manipulation, locking, things like that, throwing. You can do a lot of things with a short stick like this. In fact, a lot of people will... Um, kind of bring that same dongbong training, that classic kind of uh, ancient dongbong training over to tactical pens. It's very common. Um, blunt objects. Anytime you have a, sort of a stick or a blunt object in your hands, you can you can apply those techniques to it. So I do train in that uh, in my martial arts. For those of you that don't know, I, uh, I, I am a martial artist and in fact recently uh, passed my testing for my uh, first degree black belt in Hapkido. So here you go, I'll stop talking about uh, Dongbong training, but uh, so, so to me this is exactly what I see in this. I see basically a modern Dongbong and something that can uh, uh, be used in a variety of different ways as a striking and manipulation weapon. So there you go. Uh, price on this guy is $13.90. All right, uh, kind of buried here in the uh, packaging there is, oh look at that. Very cool. So this is a Kobutan, or Kobutan, depending on how you want to pronounce that. So it comes with a little keychain ring up top that you can add this to your keychain, obviously, to have it with you for self-defense. If you need this, again, uh, a Kobutan is going to uh, function basically as a striking and manipulation weapon again. Uh, much like a traditional Dongbong or a the Koga from uh, Real Steel that we just saw. So same type of, uh, same type of weapon, small striking and manipulation weapon. Good for striking, poking, and uh, joint manipulation. Price on this guy is ten fifty nine. Great little addition to your keychain for self defense. All right, now we're going to get into a couple of knives. So first up, we have the Sog Gambit. <laughs> 
Uh, have we seen enough of these on this channel yet? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, uh, I, so I don't mean to poke fun at survival boxes for this, because obviously it's not their fault that we've gotten it in other boxes, but uh, the uh, the SOG Gambit has uh, certainly been uh, a popular item in boxes lately. I, we probably have a half dozen of these sitting around already. Uh, so the SOG Gambit, uh, it's their take on the Krambit. I'm not going to open this up and go through it all, because I, I, I honestly think I did it twice just last month in September. I think we got two of them. Um, so uh, definitely seen a lot of these. We're probably going to have to do some giveaways of the Gambits, because I'm starting to build up a lot of these, so uh, look for that uh, to come in the future. We'll probably give a few of these away. Um, so there you go, the SOG Gambit. Uh, price on this guy is $29.99. Uh, uh, next up, we have a knife from Kershaw. Very cool. This actually, I believe, is our last item, too. So we're ending it on a high note with an item from Kershaw. So there you go. So we have, ooh, look at that. Nice. This is the uh, CQC 4K XL. Awesome. I love the CQC line of knives and really excited to have this one. I've reviewed a couple of the CQC lines, uh, CQC knives from Kershaw already. In fact, I've reviewed the 8K and the 9K. This particular one is the 4K. In the XL version, so a little bigger. G10 handle, uh, we got a skeletonized uh, stainless steel liner on that side. Uh, frame lock on this guy. Little uh, Emerson logo there, because of course these are part of that, uh, the whole CQC lineup is part of that Emerson Kershaw sort of uh, mashup to give you a lot of the classic Emerson designs uh, and, and features that we all love, but doing it at a Kershaw price point. So let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh, very nice. Look at that. So we have the thumb wheel there, again, common for the uh, Emerson design. And we also have the uh, wave hook right there, the wave feature, and what that allows you to do is it automatically deploys the knife as you pull it out of your uh, pocket. So if you have your knife in your pocket uh, like that, so this would be the outside of the pocket, um, the crease of the pocket would be on the side here. As you pull the knife out of your pocket, the uh, little hook there catches on the edge of the pocket and then flips the knife up and it deploys, of course, the force of pulling the knife out of your uh, pocket is what deploys that knife. And I have, uh, obviously, like I said before, I've reviewed uh, a couple of the CQC lineup, the 8K and the 9K on the channel already. Um, so I've demonstrated how that uh, uh, wave feature works. So if you want to see how that works, uh, me demonstrating it in a pocket, just head over to, uh, I'll put a link down in the description, just head over to uh, one of my two CQC video reviews and you'll see uh, how that wave feature works. It's really, really cool. I like it a lot. Um, I actually have another CQC knife right over here, actually. Strangely enough, right there, I actually have one sitting right here. So this is the, uh, this is the 5K CQC knife. So you can see a lot of the features that are the same, the little thumb wheel there, the uh, wave hook, the same uh, little uh, logo on the uh, on the clip and the G10 handles, very uh, similar features. Kind of all those nice features that come from uh, Emerson, all built into one knife. Really awesome knife, awesome size too. This is great EDC carry, tactical carry. Um, so nice jimping on the back there. Really positive grip. Um, substantial knife, but not uh, super heavy. Good blade steel on this. Excellent Emerson designed blade on there. Really good feel. Um, the features on this, very feature rich for uh, a knife in this price point, and that's what I really like about the Emerson Kershaw mashup knives is they are quite affordable. Typically these are going to be in the $30 to $40 range for most of them. Some of the bigger run ones run a little bit more than that, uh, but very affordable knives. So if you've ever been looking to get uh, some of those really high-end features of the Emerson knives, um, but doing it at a lower price point, uh, the, the Emerson Kershaw knives are definitely the way to go. So that is the CQC 4K. Alrighty. Love it. So let's uh, let's flick it open a few times because that's always fun. That's like the most fun part of any new knife is to uh, play with it. <laughs> so there you go. The CQC 4K XL. Love the CQC line from Emerson Kershaw. And uh, really excited to add another one to the to the uh, to the collection. I'd love to have them all one day. Uh, I really do like each and every one of them. So they have not made a bad one yet. And I think they're up to what 11 now. I think they're up to the 11K now. So they have quite a few of these out there. So check them out. They're great knives. Uh, so there you go. That is everything that came in this month's survival boxes. 
get rid of our box here. And we'll just very quickly review everything that came in this month's box for Survival Boxes Gear Only XL. Again, price on this guy was $89.99. The value here was $157.97. So first up, we have the Survival Knowledge card that goes in your little uh, three-ring binder. Uh, next up, we had the General Purpose uh, First Aid Kit along with the Tactical First Aid Kit Bag right there. Next up, we have the 12-gauge Shotgun Cleaning Kit from Game Raider. After that, we had the uh, Large Tactical Molly Sheath from Gerber to be able to put some of the items we got on this uh, in this box into. Uh, after that, we started getting into our fun stuff, our weaponry, our toys. And in there, we got the uh, Brooklyn Shorty from Cold Steel, a little miniature baseball bat to give somebody a very bad day. Uh, after that, we got another item from Cold Steel. This is the uh, Koga SD-1. So a little striking manipulation tool there. Next up, we got uh, the uh, Kobutan uh, keychain. Right there, little EDC weapon. Again, another striking and uh, manipulation weapon. And then next up, we got the SOG Gambit, the Karambit style self-defense blade from SOG. Very effective EDC carry self-defense knife. Uh, love the design, uh, and uh, it's a very useful knife. Uh, I like having these. Uh, like I said, I do have a few of these now hanging around, so we might uh, give some away, so stay tuned for that. And then last up, we had the CQC 4K XL uh, tactical style EDC knife. Great little EDC knife there. Love the design. Uh, designed by Emerson from Kershaw. Excellent price point. Great knife. There you go. That is everything that came in this month's box. So check them out over at survivalboxes.com. If you're new to Survival Boxes, use the promo code Dynamic Prepper and you will receive 10% off of your first month's box. And uh, how could you not for uh, to get stuff like this? There you go. Uh, October 2018. Take it easy, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.